Welcome back to our channel. We're Stefano and Sasha. We've been up to a lot lately, so we're going to fill you in. Last year, we self-converted a shuttle bus and traveled to Baja, California. Then we swapped that for a truck camper, and we spent four months driving down to Costa Rica and back, where we rescued our beautiful new puppy, Nala. Now we're on to a new project. We are converting this ambulance into a full-time home on wheels. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more. Here we are again. Round the three. Third building of... Third time's a charm. Yeah, and uh, today is our first demolition mm -hmm. day. Not an hour to spare. We just drove it home. Yeah, so we're going to start trying to pull off anything that we can just to save a little bit of time for tomorrow and start to like, plan ahead what like, the layout is going to be. And... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take you along for the third journey of uh, van build. <laughs> so we had bus build, truck yeah, camper, van. now we have a van. And the That's next kind of an ambulance van. Yeah. Two in one. Next one could be a boat. No, a tiny house. A tiny house. Okay. to remove this seal but apparently uh, everything is connected so in order to remove this we have to remove both this door and we need to remove this panel and then we need to remove the front part of the seat so everything seems connected uh, I'd say which way harder than the bus yeah the bus it was easier but we get it there maybe day one Super one, dirty. Two hours, we are dirty. But we got the whole this side out, which is here. We're putting some of the seatbelts for sale. So this is like a lot of trash, but we're gonna try to recycle this metal stuff and they'll pay you for it. So that's pretty handy. We kept all the screws and bolts. That is like a life hack from yeah. building vans. That's Keep so many we things. even reused the bus ones on the camper. Yeah. So keep all your screws and bolts that are not rusty. It's already looking a little more spacious. Yeah, it's gonna be good when we take this off. Right? Mm -hmm. We thought we could keep this floor, but I don't know, we'll see. We found a little bit of insulation behind the walls, so that's kind of good. And we'll do the rest tomorrow. It was hard, but... It was so hard. <laughs> we are out of shape. Yeah, like my back hurts, but... The only tools that we needed for the demo so far are a drill, definitely a drill, a, our spanner kit, this amazing crowbar that came with the ambulance. This crowbar is so handy. It was the best tool. Yeah. So, so far all we needed was a drill, spanner, and the crowbar. Yeah. Pretty simple. Two of our demolition didn't go as expected. Uh, yes, it was raining until five minutes ago, so we decided to go to DMV mm -hmm. and register the car. This is all the documents, and uh, hopefully we won't have any problem. We were doing some research yesterday, and apparently uh, it could be complicated uh, with the. It's an ambulance. But the guy that owned it before us already like. Uh, it all is registration, not be an ambulance, so hopefully it's not gonna be a problem for us. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, good news. No problems. No problems. Just expensive. Four hundred fifty. No. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars, but. Because the registration is out. But yeah, at least we know that we are safe now. We can drive, and we don't have to pay any other excesses. 
back to demolition. Yay! Now that we saw the registration papers and we officially hold the van, we keep going with demolition. So yesterday we removed all of this side here uh, and it was kind of like a task. It was a little bit hard. And today we're gonna start to tackle this big boy and hopefully we get to remove everything by the end of the day. Doing good so far? Uh-huh. So we removed this back part. We're probably gonna the reuse shelf. this yeah, one because it... I don't wanna remake that. It's like awkward angles and it looks kinda nice and fits nice. So we'll reuse that. Yeah, and then we start to remove the uni as well. Uh, we have to keep this. I think this is the aircon for the back. So we might keep this and this. And then I'm working on taking this down. That's fine. Mm-hmm. How many screws do you think we get so much? Thousand? Yeah, well, maybe a hundred. But they're all like super small, so I don't know. That's yeah. some big one. Reuse all of them. We got some huge big boy here. And then yeah, some small. We'll see. Whatever we can get with you. We have 10 seconds. We're gonna cut the red or the blue? The red or the blue? Tell me, please. The blue. Red. Blue? Blue or red? red. Blue, blue. Blue. No, I feel it's the red. <laughs> Save the water. Okay. You're funny. What show is that? Uh, blind spot. Blind spot. I'll say mindset. Keep doing it. Okay, I think it's heavy. Best of luck to us uh -huh. fitting it back in there. This is the result of two hours working. And now we're gonna have lunch, lunch break, lunch break, Cooks. coffee, yeah, and uh, then we have the big boy here, yeah, and then uh, good. yeah, we're doing good. I was expecting to be way Even worse, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we could rip all this out today, and that'd be nice. What's in the menu today? Fried rice with tofu. From the frozen section at Trader Joe's. Tofu is fresh though. Tofu is fresh. And Quick if you meal. notice in the background, we have to cover Sasha Sparrow Ruby. Because he begs. Because he begs for food. <laughs> you can actually hear a little bit. Is that right, Ruby? Lunch break is over. We keep working on a demolition. Mm -hmm. We were thinking, um, to keep that bottom part, the top part as well, but I don't know how it's gonna work, uh, if it's possible to do that. Uh, if not, we're just gonna remake everything. You happy? No. Stefano is underneath the ambulance. We're trying to get this big unit out and we just have one more bolt in here. Um, and he has to find the bolt underneath the ambulance to loosen it from there. Um, it's over our battery box where we have our four external batteries, so it's kind of hard to find. But the good news, we found this inverter charger. These are worth like at least $800. I don't know how many watts this one is. 
it looks like it's a thousand. So this is worth quite a few hundred dollars. What this allows you to do is run AC or 110 volt or house appliances and plug your laptop in and stuff like that. Um, and it, the charger part also allows you to plug in to a campground or any extension cord and get power that way. So between having this um, and having the four brand new batteries right here, that probably saves us like close to a thousand dollars which is awesome um i know people said that in ambulances like they have a lot of electronics already but i just didn't expect to get all of that stuff not for free because <laughs> we paid for the vehicle but um it's pretty cool so we just have to learn how to like reuse it and you know unplug everything and then rewire it which is going to be hard but um it's going to be worth it did you find it are you there? Did you get it? No, almost. Give me the thing. This can one? You, yeah. Can you all do with this? I got bad news. What's the bad news? I'll show you in a sec. Do we have a flat tire? Huh? Do we have a flat tire? No, it's worse. It's worse. Here is a sexy moment. I'm gonna show you my dirty girlfriend. She's so dirty. <laughs> my good news is all this should be off. So we are ready to taking off the van. Removing this giant storage unit was a huge task. Every time we thought that it, we were ready to take it off, there was something else we had to unscrew. Let's go. Wait, watch out for this part of the door. Yeah, we need to kind of, no, 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 you're doing, you need to go back. Okay. Yeah, we need to go down this way. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so heavy. This is moving. Oh my God, this is so heavy. Current situation. Trash pile. What do you think? I can't wait to get rid of this stuff tomorrow. Did you have fun? No. <laughs> but we did everything in two days that we thought would take us two more days. So yeah. Now we have the whole weekend to lay the floors and the wall and the ceiling. Job for tomorrow is like dump this. Dump everything. And then we have the weekend to start to lay the floor and stuff. Mm -hmm. Actually no. Tomorrow afternoon, we are taking half day off to go to the beach. What a luxury. Yes. One day of work and then a half day off. That's, uh, that's our race. We can't go more than two days working. 